Hey creatives, Robert Silver here, and in this video, I want to explain why portrait photography is much more than just a snapshot of someone's face. More than ever, it's a general term loosely used among photographers that really doesn't help to communicate what kind of photos they like to create. In this video, I'm going to help you better understand what exactly is portrait photography and what kind of style of portrait photography you like to shoot. Portrait photography is a photograph of a person or a group of people that captures the personality of the subject by using effective lighting, backdrops, and poses. Whether it be posed or candid, ultimately, it's a genre of photography devoted to capturing people and personalities. Now let's talk about a few different popular genres of portrait photography. Family portraits is all about capturing groups of photo and people with family ties, whether it be small groups like parents and their children to family reunions. Newborn photography also falls under this umbrella, which can be a lucrative genre since families want to show off their newest members. Of course, if family portrait photography were as simple as picking up a camera and shouting cheese, we'd all be doing it, but it's not. There are a ton of little intricacies to it. More often than not, those members of the family or groups are inexperienced models in front of the camera. You need to make them feel comfortable and at ease. Natural images are best, but not exactly candid. You, the photographer, have the control, but the family supplies the mood, tone, and action. Senior portraits, class photos, maternity pictures, and as I mentioned, newborns are closely related styles that I would include within family portraits. Boudoir photography is a style of portraits that features intimate, sensual, romantic, and sometimes erotic images of subjects in a photo studio, bedroom, or private dressing room environment. Primarily, these portraits are intended for the enjoyment of the subject and his or her romantic partner. The fine art genre is an often contested one. Artists debate exactly what classifies as fine art. Many agree that fine art is something that would hang in an art gallery. That's different than a typical placement of a portrait that hangs on the wall of a family home. Fine art photography is often inspired by other types of artwork. Some fine art photographers, for example, model their portrait photography after Renaissance paintings. Others get creative with wardrobe and makeup, posing, and photo editing. Fine our photography also encompasses conceptual portraits and surreal portraits. Conceptual portraits capture an idea or concept within a portrait image, often using props, settings, or photo editing to achieve that concept. Because conceptual photography encompasses an idea, the possibilities are endless. Levitation, perspective manipulation, makeup or wardrobe tricks, Photoshop stunts, and more are all a part of this unique genre. Regardless if the photos are used to update a model's portfolio, actor's headshot, or used commercially for a marketing campaign, the more you're able to define the exact genre you specialize in, the better you can communicate your professionalism in that style to a potential client. The most successful photographers I follow tend to focus their energy in specializing in one or two complementary genres of photography. When I mean professional, I mean someone who's been able to continually make a consistent living as a photographer. I tell my friends I do not do babies, senior portraits, class photos, landscapes, or street photography. On my own time, I enjoy doing some of those styles of photography, but I for sure do not promote that I offer that as a service. But I've been able to produce a living with commercial portraits and fashion photography. Just be careful becoming a jack of all trades and a master at none. When I have a client that is looking for a service I don't provide, I'll team up with another creative that does or completely pass that opportunity on to them. At the end of the day, make sure your portfolio and your website communicate the same message you're sharing with your potential clients. If you shoot headshots, but you've got tons of landscape and event photos all over your site, well, your communication is severely off and will lead to mistrust from a potential client before they've even decided to contact you. Try a few of the genres out. See which one speaks to you the most. This is really for those looking 
looking to make money or some sort of living uh, from as a portrait photographer. If you're looking to improve your photography, you can always attend any of my upcoming online and in-person portrait photography workshops. I do photo editing as well. Just head to my website at robertsilverphotography.com. Click on workshops for dates and details. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more, don't forget to press that like, share, and of course, subscribe. And better yet, hit that bell icon for more videos. I'm Robert Silver, and until next time, keep shooting, stay creative.